Hello friends, welcome here. Today I'm going to be doing a reading vlog, a reading the rule book by Sarah Adams. I did get new glasses, so I'm testing them out and I got a second pair. I did show this on Instagram, so if you follow me there you would have already seen this, but these are different. Um, yo, look at that. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun, but really I think I look better with darker lens or dark, darker frames. So tell me if you agree, but there you go. Okay, now I'm just gonna leave these on. But yeah, so The Real Book by Sarah Adams. This is the sequel to The Cheat Sheet. Um, it's kind of a companion sequel. And this follows Derek, who is one of the players on the football team from The Cheat Sheet. So you have met him before, but the girl is totally new. Her name's Nora. So the one thing that I'm hesitant about this book, first of all, Sarah Adams herself has said that there is going to be a chapter with open door scenes in it, or a uh, open door scene. I believe it's only one chapter. She did put a disclaimer at the front of this book. So I'm probably going to skip the chapter, but we'll see like how much build up there is to it and like what other content is in that uh, other than that chapter. So that's one thing. And then I'm pretty sure this is going to be like an enemies to lovers kind of trope. And I'm very, I don't usually like that trope. <laughs> I did recently read a book called How to Kiss Your Enemy by Jenny Proctor, which I loved. And that's an enemies to lovers and I surprisingly loved it. So it's not like I can't like that kind of trope, but it has to be done well. So we'll see how Sarah Adams writes it. I don't know. And Derek is known as kind of the player bad boy on the team. So I know a lot of people are going to love that, but I don't personally love that. So I'm very curious how I'm going to like this book. It's short, so I think it's going to be a really quick read, and I'm ready to just binge this. I do have Bible study tonight, so I won't be able to like completely dedicate the whole day to reading this, but I do plan to read it fairly quickly here and let you guys know how it goes. So I will start it, and I will give you guys check-ins um, based on different content that I see, and I'll let you guys know. Hi everyone! So, the rule book. I am 126 pages in and I'm enjoying it a lot. It does not have the same kind of, I don't know, like icky feeling that I had reading Practice Makes Perfect. There was something not right about Practice Makes Perfect for me, even though there was a lot, I keep saying this, but like there were a lot of cute moments in that book and I enjoyed it but there was also kind of this feeling where it's like this isn't right this this doesn't feel good here and I don't know I don't know <laughs> I can't explain it beyond that but for the rule book this feels more lighthearted and innocent even though like there is swearing they haven't said the f word but they've said other words and they do talk about they imply physical intimacy but it's always cut off before any more details are given so I'm curious, like, once we get to the chapter of the open door scene, what that'll be like. Uh, and I, I do intend to skip that chapter, but like I said, like, leading up to it, what's it going to be like? I don't know. Because for now, this is feeling, like, very sweet, honestly. And Derek is not a bad boy. <laughs> like, he's not the player that I thought he was in the cheat sheet. He is very sweet. Like, he does mess with her but like clearly he loves her and it's very lighthearted. So I'm surprised I was ready for this book to feel kind of heavy and, and not good, but it doesn't feel that way. This is definitely a solid four stars right now. I, I don't think I could give it five just because of everything, <laughs> um, but I do really like it and I would recommend it at this point. So we'll see how it goes, but yeah, for now I'm really enjoying it and I am happy, I'm relieved. Just so you know, initial thoughts, that's how it's feeling. They're, they do use swear words though and they like call each other names with swear words and stuff, but it's, it's lighthearted, like, I don't know, I... I go back and forth with language and like what my standards are with language in books. Most of the time I can overlook it unless it's like excessive F words, but anything else I'm like kind of okay with it just cause like I literally hear it all the time in my real life as well. So 
it's not like my you know innocent ears can't stand it kind of thing i don't know um so anyways i don't know if i'll check in again actually i probably will um after we get closer to the open door scene also loving this weather it makes me so happy and i did <laughs> go a little bit orange on the face today i it was it just happened like i was just kind of going hard with the bronzer and then i was like oh well that's okay we all have orange days right and eventually i want my skin to match i want my body to match my face so that's the goal but yeah um i'm looking at a mirror right now that's why i'm not looking at you side tangent but yeah let's go read some more of this Hi friends so i did finish the rule book and i have mixed feelings and i'm gonna try to speak this out we'll see what rating i land on i'm not sure yet but i will just you know let's go for it so first half basically for those of you who don't know the author put a note at the beginning there was going to be a chapter with open door scenes in it or an open door scene so she said skip this chapter if you don't want to read it so I knew that was coming and every time, you know, I turned the page and I got to a new chapter, I was like, okay, one step closer, you know? And I definitely planned to skip that chapter, but I was curious what the buildup was going to be. There was something about this book in particular, and I know I've said this already, but let me just like get this all out. So practice makes perfect. <laughs> once again, I'm comparing them because- Which means just get the book. Where is it? Here we go. Okay. <laughs> um, so practice makes perfect. This book was, very highly anticipated i was so excited it's so cute all the things but everything about this book had kind of like a vulgar like sexual spin in it that made me uncomfortable mixed with her light-hearted cute writing so again mixed feelings for this book i didn't feel that like kind of negative feeling um in the first half leading up to that that chapter it was lighthearted. Like, yes, they made sexual jokes. They talked about how great they are together and their memories of it. And they would like kind of talk like they were about to talk about it and then it would cut off. So the, and I, hopefully you guys know what I mean, but just like the language that she used made it lighthearted for me. It, it didn't feel kind of like, ew. Then the chapter, we get to it and I skip it. And I, I will say she had a, she did a great job. The chapter right before, so it's chapter 34. So chapter 33, I could see that it was coming, but it wasn't like she was like priming you. Like it didn't feel that way. It's like truly the, the chapter ended and it's like, oh, they're going to go do it now. But not in a, I wish I didn't get those details kind of way. Like it was, I don't know. I appreciated it. And then, yeah, the chapter, whatever. And then... I will say I read the last couple lines of chapter 34 and everything was done and they just kind of like were wrapping things up and just chatting. It was fine. And then moving on. So, but ever since then, it felt just like that's all they talked about. And it wasn't all they talked about, but just a little bit, the language changed for me and the tone of the book changed. That's the word I'm looking for. The first half, the tone of it, like, okay. <laughs> Stay with me. The tone of Practice Makes Perfect felt dirty to me, okay? It just, and that's my own personal feeling with it, okay? The tone of the rule book, the first half before that chapter felt lighthearted and fine, okay? It felt four star level, like great. But then the tone for the last half after that chapter felt just a little bit like, okay, the, the door has been opened and now I have like liberties to say a bit more things. And I was conflicted about that. And there still was, it was a mixture of lightheartedness. It literally felt the same kind of tone as Practice Makes Perfect after that, that sex chapter. <laughs> so that's what I'm trying to say. So I feel very conflicted because it was more than halfway. Like chapter 34 is, here we go. This much is lighthearted, sweet, would be four stars this much it had that kind of feeling to it and 
so there you go i'm conflicted i'm very conflicted so would i recommend this book only if you're aware of the content if you liked if you like her writing if you like her books if you were fine with practice makes perfect this will be fine for you skip chapter 34 totally fine if you need a little bit more like you know closed doorness probably don't read this although like again it had the light-hearted though I'm it, so yeah <laughs> very conflicted you guys but I'm here for it let's talk about it. it it's it's good I want this discussion out there and I will say I do not regret reading this book I am glad that I read it I'm glad I have my opinion and I will continue to read her books I think as long as she keeps telling us where the spice chapters are going to be then thank you like I really appreciate that and honestly if more authors did this I would be able to read way more books but they don't do it um and then okay so for language I think they used the f word once the rest it was just kind of the s-h-i-t and that was kind of it and a-s-s -S and like d-a-m-n <laughs> I will say also if you don't want any like spoilers don't read the back of the book because the back of the book says something that happens between the two characters and I didn't read the back when I first picked this up. Like I just went in blind. I knew it was about Derek and Nora. That's it. I'm glad I did that because then something happened between their relationship that was like, oh, I didn't know this was going to happen. I wonder if that's on the back. And it is on the back. So I liked that I didn't know. It kind of made it interesting. But if you've already read the back, no big deal. Then you know what I'm talking about. But just saying, I feel like you don't need to read the back and you can just go for it. But I will say what happens between their relationship, and I'm not talking about chapter 34. Before that, what happens leads up to why chapter 34 would even happen. So I liked that. I liked that there were multiple reasons why there was an open door scene. So again, I appreciated it. Thank you. Okay. Whereas Practice Makes Perfect, it walked the line so close without there actually being any open door. And that was not good for me. But this didn't feel like it did that. So <laughs> there you go. But I will say I loved the ending. Really good character development and character growth through this whole book for both characters. She did a great job with that. Hopefully that helps you decide if you should read this book. Yeah, thank you for watching, you guys. I hope that this was helpful. And yeah, leave your thoughts below. Um, if you've read this, I'm curious what you thought of it. Let me know if you think you're going to read it. Um, and truly, skipping chapter 34 literally felt like I missed nothing. It was definitely entertaining, quick read. So yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching you guys. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.